Hi, I'm Julia, and today we are going to be making my famous, it's not really famous, no, my famous hot cocoa, and you read the title, it's Juju Coco, and yes, hopefully maybe I can sell it later, but you are in for a treat because you're going to watch my recipe, and then we're going to watch some Hallmark together, so that's going to be a nice Saturday night. Okay. Okay, so I do want to keep it informative, of course, so I'm going to use a Rebel um, Barista Express. I'm going to steam the milk. You can, of course, use any kind of milk steamer you want, or you can do this guy. Hi. Anyways, let's go back. We have this. Next step, we need some hot cocoa. Then, we need some milk. There we go, we got some milk. But, ooh, we also need some Cool Whip. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. We need Cool Whip because we're too good to just take some heavy cream and mix it in the blender. But, you know what? Hi, Hi, I love you. Okay, you look really sad and depressed, but you're so cute, and that's what matters. So next, we need cinnamon. I never tried it with cinnamon before, but we're just gonna add that to Juju's hot cocoa. Sometimes I like to put a little secret recipe in, so if it's early in the morning, add so excuse me, some little kofefe right here. But overall, it's good. Oh, this is the cup I used to grow my cheese farm in my locker. Originally, like I took this cup with coffee, but I forgot to bring it back home. And for the next two months, like, mold was growing, so I called it my cheese farm. And I got a complaint from the janitorial, no, the, yeah, the staff from the janitor. Cooking, let's do this, let's go. Now that we have all of the freaking stuff, we are gonna put some milk into one of these little things. You're not gonna wanna pour halfway of this because when you steam it, the milk's gonna rise, I know. I'm gonna put some hot cocoa in there. See, I don't appreciate this hot cocoa we got because it was eight bucks and I don't think hot cocoa should be eight dollars, but this might be some pretty good hot cocoa and you don't know. And my bangs look really bad right now. Yeah, I don't know. I just put my grandma's lingerie on. Yeah, I think this is dusty, but... This looks so weird. You have to see this. This looks so weird. Is hot cocoa powder supposed to look like this? Spin for love, sugar, let's start medicine. We're dying in the most delightful way. I think, I think that's a good amount. I'm really cringy right now. Now let's add a little bit of cinnamon. I was, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to put some pepper in the hot cocoa because I heard like the Aztecs did it. And I'm like, I want to be just like ten, ten o chitlon, and sacrifice some of my peppers. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Puns. <laughs> oh, gonna use the steamer, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use the steamer, cause things are gonna get steamy. Before you do the steaming thing, you want to heat up a hot towel because you want a really hot towel to wipe off of the chocolate residue that's going to be left behind on the steamer puppy thingy okay it's going to be super hot normally you should discharge it to let some excess steam go out but i don't want to lose the water that i just put in there i'm going to put this right here and this sound is not going to be very pleasant when you, before you do it, I want you to like lift this thing up. Make sure it's not touching the bottom. Let's turn the steam thing on. And we're gonna hear a nice beat in like the next few seconds and maybe I can rap to it for you. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but there we go, there we go. So you're gonna hear this sound. Sounds like the devil.
Here's the aerial view, and here is the aerial view of my mess. You know what it tastes like? Marshmallows. That's what it tastes like. Thank you for watching this first episode, or this first pilot episode of Cooking with Juju. Toodles!